going to be this month's program. Like I said, it's going to be pretty basic. It's just how to change your front wheel bearings uh, on your Corvair. Um, I've done a lot of the hard part already just to kind of help move it along. Um, first things first, we got to get this thing off the car, which I already did, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps on how to do that. First thing you need to do is remove your uh, dust cap. You're going to remove your cotter pin. Then you're going to undo this bolt. And then you're going to see this washer here. Now this washer is keyed for the spindle that it has to go back on. So you're going to want to remove that too. So let's remove that guy out of the way. And then you've got your bearing. So let's get that out of the way. All right. So we're going to stop with that at this current moment and talk about some of the tools that you're going to need. Um, simply enough, you're going to need, if you can't get it off, you want a, a hub puller or a, drum, a brake drum puller, sorry. Very handy to have. Um, of course, you'll want just some regular flathead screwdrivers, hammer, and some punches, because you're going to have to remove the old stuff. And another really, really, really uh, useful thing to have is what's called a uh, bearing race and seal driver set. Another thing that we have, you're going to need is a press, which you won't, which we're not going to show you. It's halfway across uh, from where we're working at. And then, of course, you want the new seals. You want the new inner bearing and race. And you want the outer bearing and race. So let's. So now that we've got all this out, I would assume that we've got it off the car by now. We're going to go ahead and just flip this over. So your seal and then your bearing from the inside. To get this out, you're going to want to turn it over. And um, take your punch. And you're going to want to, let's see if I can get a better close up of this. Sorry for the shaky camera guys. Let's see if we can't get a little closer here. And you're going to want to, which you're probably not going to be able to see it. Well, you kind of can, you kind of can. So what you're going to want to do is in here um, is the actual bearing and stuff like is that you're going to want to put your punch on that and tap it out. So I'm going to try and do that so you can see it. And then over here on this side, on that side, and you're just going to keep going back, back and forth until you feel it drop out like that. All right, so I'm going to extend this back up again so that we go back to our normal view here. And we're going to flip over. And you're going to see that your bearing is out. And your old seal is out. All right. So now you've got to get your races out, um, which your race, one of your races is right here. And one of them is down here. Uh, you can kind of see it where I just scraped off in there, maybe. Um, so what you want to do is you want to turn it opposite of the, of the race that you're um, trying to get out. So the outer race, you want to go at it from the inside of the drum and vice versa. So let's see if we can knock out the outer race. And this is this is what an outer race is or is that no, this is the inner race, correct? So this is 
the uh, NRA. So in case you're wondering who I'm talking to and, and who's helping provide light and stuff, I've got Ray here next to me here helping me out. So let's punch out the outer race first. Um, cover it up a little bit with my hand just to help hold it in there. Because it does like to jump around a little bit. Okay, now let me hit it from this side. You kind of want to keep going around and around and, you know, working it out in a circle there. And it is slowly, slowly coming out. up a little bit yeah so if you can kind of grab my there we go so this is the the race that we're trying and to get out right here and it's slowly starting to work its way but you want to hit a little bit in each spot around it and work it out that way instead of just whacking at one spot on it because you get it wedged so let's continue hitting it out it should be almost there and i believe we're not there we're pretty close we're we're right there. So we're, we're almost, we're almost, um, but now I'm probably going to see if I can get Ray to help hold it so that I can hit it this way so it actually comes all the way out. Okay. So you're going to see his hands appear here. And I shouldn't have to hit it too much more for it to just pop out, so... I'm going to keep this up. Get that out of the way for me real quick. Let's see where I'm at. There I am. going ah hold on one second we got a that should do it all right let me move the camera here and move some stuff around all right so now we're in a vice let's uh finish knocking this thing out And there it goes. By the wonderful click on the ground that you heard. There you go. And then now we need to do the same for the other side. So we're going to rotate it around. Because now we're going to want to come in and get that other race out, which we can do. Where we're back. Let's move everything back to where we were. All right. Okay. All right. There's that. So 
So right here is where you'll hit for that race. And then you'll see another spot here. And there's like four of them around there. So that's what you really want to look for is like those grooves that you can use. Like this one has these grooves here that I was able to use to get it in there. That way you hit it out evenly. So go a little at a time and just keep hitting around those grooves and you'll work the thing out a little at a time. It is slowly working its way out and it's out. So now that we've got it out, we can go ahead and move it out of our way as well. Those won't go back in because we've got new ones. Um, so we will stop right here just for the second because we might have to do a little bit of a camera change so that we can get over to the press and stuff like that. So we will uh, we will move to the press and I will just shut off the recording real quick so that you don't see all the shaky cameraness. So one second. All right, so we jumped ahead a little bit here. Um, so let me tell you a little bit of what we did to get this ready um, for this step. So we've already moved all the stuff out. We cleaned all the old grease out of the middle and around the races and stuff like that. Then we took the new races. Um, we found the correct driver for it, um, which this is the correct driver for that one. Um, we put new oil or, or grease around here. We did it with the race on the inside here. Same with this one. Uh, then we put it in here. I think we are ready to push this one in. So let me get my gloves back on real quick. And we will start cranking away. And what you want to do is just slowly just keep doing it. And eventually, Well, maybe not. No, it's it never. You don't have to. Hmm? You don't have to. Is it still going? Uh, hit cancel. Yeah. Stop recording. No, hit cancel. Okay. All right. So um, it looked like our, our press wasn't going down, so I had I asked him to stop, but it, it is. Um, so it is slowly pushing this down in, as you can see here. Slowly but surely, it's getting in there. And this process does take a little bit of time here. All right, so we're going to stop the recording here. Uh, go ahead and get these in, and then we'll pick back up over on the bench here in just a few seconds. All right, so we've moved from the press back to our, our desk our workstation um we've got the races in all the way on both sides um now what we'll want to do is take a uh, big tub of grease and you'll want to grease this inside here this is where it gets nice and messy so 
Oops. Put the grease in that here. Put the grease in that here. And there we go. Okay. Make sure, like I said, I got some in the middle here. And then we'll flip this over and we'll do the other side when we get ready to do that bearing um, on the outer. All right, so set the, that one there. Let's grab our inner bearings and move this this way so I can set this over so you can see it. And then what we're going to do is really just put it down in there, flip her over, pull it back out, and do that at least once or two times. What, you're, what we're trying to do is just make sure that it's really saturated with grease which this guy is now. We'll try and knock off all this extra that we don't need, especially like in the center. Um, but as you can see, it's nice and saturated with grease. Just a little bit more off. Then we're gonna set it in there. And repeat for the other side. Um, on this side, we're, the last and final step that we need to do is put the seal back in. So let's do that. Ooh. That's not right. All right. So um, I ended up getting the wrong seal. Make sure you don't do that. Uh, so I'll have to take this back in order to finish this job. So we're going to stop right here. Um, we'll get the seal back in this, flip it over, put do the same thing with the other bearing, and then we'll put it back on the car and we're, we're done. Um, you gotta love when you make mistakes. Um, so we'll see, hopefully see y'all at the next uh, membership meeting um, and we'll have a, a, a different kind of program Anyways, thank you uh, for watching. Thank you for Ray for letting me use his garage and for his help in the background that you didn't see. Um, so thank you and have a good day, guys.